let's put the spotlight on Group B, where a variety of clubs are fighting for the top spots. With Meshkov, Brest and Moto Zaporozhye, two teams at the end of the ranking are desperately trying to regain confidence in a so far disappointing season. It's the clearest setup possible, with group leaders Kiel taking on winless Motul Zaporozhye. Kiel headed into the match without key players Dovniak and Bilic. Kiel was still the better side individually, but could not move away from Motor in the beginning. It was close in the first 19 minutes as Kiel seemed tired from many matches in the past few weeks and worked with mostly individual efforts like this one from Bruno Damke. Motor, though, were led by a convincing performance by Pukuski and started well in the second half, but Kiel took on the fight. Motor then went up by three, and the match turned into a roller coaster with fighting spirit from both sides. And a draw in the end, well deserved for fighting Motor and hard fought by a tired Kiel. Former champions Montpellier have performed convincingly so far, but playing Porto is not an easy task currently. The Portuguese have marked their spot on the map of handball and took over control early. Montpellier were in desperate need of some advice after 19 minutes. While Porto kept on scoring easy goals, Montpellier continued to struggle. And apparently nothing was to change in the second half. Martins converted this one to give Porto a five-goal lead. Montpellier showed their abilities as well, but it was Porto goalie Tom Bauer who denied them over and over again, having a safe percentage of 36%. The Portuguese could also rely on Miguel Martins, so finally they came up with yet another surprise and took away two points, winning 27-22 at Montpellier. As the time of surprises has come, let's head over to Brest. It was all celebration in Belarus after the game. Meshkov had their reasons for sheer happiness as they beat reigning champions HC Vada, taking their second win of the season. When the game started, it was not clear it would even have a winner, as both teams were committing a series of errors, while Dainis Krishtapans took the sledgehammer approach for Varda. Pavel Atman's performance was as much a roller coaster as Varda's performance as a whole. They committed too many errors, leaving Brest too many chances. Ivan Pesic got his fingers into play, and Vila Powell was on fire, scoring 12 from 12 with 11 of them in the second half. Vada were done for the match, HC Meshkov Brest won 31-22 and surely came up with the upset of the match day. Normally there's no upset but pure spectacle to be expected when Vesprem take on Kjaltsa in a fully packed arena. But as Vesprem were missing two of their centre-backs, Marta Lekai and Kentin Mahi to injury, they struggled in the beginning. Kjaltsa dominated the first half while their line players Karolek and Agi Nagalda led the team. The Polish took a two-goal lead at the break. But then David Davis shuffled his cards and put Almighty Arpad into play. The veteran is an enigma for Kjeltsen was on a saving rate of almost 50% during most of the second half. With Sterbik in goal and a highly emotional defence, the hosts never looked back. Vesprem sealed a hard-fought 28-24 victory.